Hey hi friends welcome back to the our channel the Stoller Chronics. In this video I will measure this voltage, current, frequency and power factor with SIM 800L GSM model through. I mean I sending this data with GPRS through. It's not required any Wi-Fi, any internet. Open this blink app and see is the IoT based smart energy meter and measuring this parameter is the voltage, current, power and frequency. Now I put this soldering gun. You see in the 16 by 2 LCD display is the voltage, frequency, ampere and watt. And is the ampere and watt will be increases because it's only soldering gun take this more power. Now I remove the soldering gun and put this iron. Power factor will be increases. I mean the 750 watts is consumed and ampere is take this 3 ampere. Let's build this circuit diagram. Now we arrange all this component and do this correction one by one. The circuit diagram available in this video description. If you want, then please check out. Now we will make a hardware. In a zero PCB, we are soldering all these components like Arduino Nano Microcontroller 16 to 2 LCD display I2C module. First, I attach the GSM module and is given to this separate power supply is the 3.7 volt lithium ion battery through. Now I attach the one SIM card is the VI SIM card I used. Now I attach this and is also required to this connect this ground properly. If you not connect this ground pin, then it's not working. And now I attach this PZEM 040 sensor. Now the hardware will be completed. Now set up this blink cap. First you log in this blink app and go to this new template, create this template is the IoT based energy meter, choose hardware is Arduino Nano and choose the connectivity the GSM module and save it. Now go to this device, select this new device, choose this IoT based energy meter and see you receive this token ID. Now you go to this gauge. I mean this dashboard and select this proper gauge. I choose this four gauge. I did this gauge name is the first one is the voltage. Create data stream is the virtual pin. I select this unit is the V and this volt. And select this minimum and maximum value. I set this maximum value is 300. Now we save it. If you want, then you change this color also. Now go to the second gauge. Did this name is the current. Choose the uh, create data stream is the virtual pin is the V1. Set this minimum and maximum value. I set this maximum value is the 20. And select this unit is the ampere. Now save it. Choose this color and save it. Now go to the start gauge. It is name is the power. Create data stream. Choose virtual pin. Choose this unit. And set this minimum and maximum value. Now save it. Is the last one is the choose this gauge name. Edit this gauge name is the frequency. Create data stream. Choose this virtual pin is the V3. Set this minimum and maximum value. Is the 60. Now save it. The uh, blink app dashboard is ready. Now you copy this authentic key and paste in this Arduino ID code. In mobile setup, you just log in this mobile, I mean the same email ID and password. Just go select this proper gauge. I choose this 4 gauge. First, edit this name is the voltage. And edit this title name is the voltage. I mean, uh, when you open this blink app in mobile phone, then display all these gauges. You're not required to the choose this. Uh, Another time to create the data stream, like this virtual pin is automatically select. You just select it and edit this title name only. Okay, now app will be ready. Now see this code. First is required to the install few library like install i2c dot h library.
PZ EM0040 library. We defining this authentic key, APN key, username and password. You put authentic key, what do you see in this blink app? Now connect to this JSON model with pin number 10 and 11. PGN will be connected to pin number 2 and 3. In void setup, we are defining input and output devices. In void sensor loop, voltage, current, power, and frequency. Now you put this proper authentic key and just go to this tool, select this proper board, and hit this uploading button. When you turn on this stereo monitor, we check this GPRS will be properly will be connected. Now see this working of this project. You turn on this system and you attach this soldering gun in a power socket and just turn on this switch and see the LCD will display this voltage frequency ampere and watt is the consume the watt is the 55.20 and ampere is the 0 0.19 is measuring this proper parameter I mean this voltage current power and frequency now I attach this tube light and check how much the ampere will be consumed. You use this power plug because this one is the AC current. And now I turn on the switch. See, is the not uh, measuring any ampere or watt. When I turn on the switch, then the LCD will be display this all parameter. See, the tube light will be on. And when I check, this ampere is the consume 0.15. And what is the 35.90? Tube light is the mention it is 40 watts tube light, but is only consume is the 37.80. And see the C metadata measuring this proper. I'm sending this proper data with GPRS through. This one is the interesting project. I hope you like this project. And if you like it, please hit the like button, share with all the friends. If you're new in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit this bell icon to get notification first. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.